Jim Webb is officially dropping out of the Democratic presidential race, to no one's surprise. So it may not actually be over for him yet. So uh, here's what he had to say. I fully accept that my views on many issues are not compatible with the power structure and the nominating base of the Democratic Party. That party is filled with millions of dedicated, hardworking Americans, but its hierarchy is not comfortable with many of the policies that I have laid forth, and frankly, I'm not that comfortable with many of theirs. For this reason, I'm withdrawing from any consideration of being the Democratic Party's nominee for the presidency. This does not reduce in any way my concerns or the challenges facing our country, my belief that I can provide the best leadership in order to meet these challenges, or my intentions to remain fully engaged in the debates that are facing us. How I remain as a voice will depend on what kind of support I'm shown in the coming weeks as I meet with people from all sides of America's political landscape, and I intend to do that. Now, later on, when he was asked if he's still a Democrat, he stated, quote, we'll think about that. <laughs> All right, well, let me help you out there. No, <laughs> you're not a Democrat. The Democratic Party doesn't want you. Democratic voters don't want you. Uh, you are a moderate Republican, and that's fine. The party needs moderates because right now they've been taken over by right-wing extremists, so you can really help them and potentially push them more back towards the center if you join them. So, shoo, go. <laughs> and look, let me just say, let me be uh, as polite when I say this as possible. You will not be president. <laughs> now, the reason why I say this is because he states that uh, he may potentially run as a third party candidate. Now, he didn't overtly say this, uh, but he did hint at it because he said he's still going to be involved. And when MSNBC posed the question in an article saying, will Jim Webb run as a third party candidate, uh, he retweeted it. So I don't know if he's trying to play chicken with the Democratic Party or whatnot, but you're not going to be the president. If you run as a third party candidate and you actually think you can win, you're delusional. It's because there's something called Duverger's law that stops third party candidates from ever being successful. Now, the question is whether or not he'll actually hurt the Democratic nominee come 2016. Uh, and I'm not really too worried about it, but it is the case that, you know, in the past, third party candidates have been detrimental. I'm thinking about, you know, Ralph Nader and Al Gore in 2000 in Florida, how he took away just enough votes to potentially cost Al Gore the election. So look, I don't like third party candidates. I think it's it's entirely just useless. Anyone who votes for third party candidates is wasting their votes. Literally, like in political science, we literally call it vote wasting because your vote does not count because we live in a two party single member district system. It's the winner who wins and the loser gets nothing. We're not proportionally represented. So you're not gonna get some seats in Congress because you, your, your candidate got 15%. No, no, no. That's not the way it works. That's not how our system is. You can disagree with it. You can call for electoral reform like I would like, but I don't want to say that he's trying to hurt the Democratic Party because he's bitter. But I mean, look, he complained the entire time during the debate that he wasn't getting equal airtime. And he was saying that it was rigged and that, you know, Anderson Cooper was stacking all the cards in Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders' favor. But dude, if you want more time at the debate, here's what you got to do. You got to poll at least 1%, maybe. I mean, he was polling in 1% in some polls, but I looked at the polls uh, wherein him and Lincoln Chafee were polling at 1%. Sometimes they got one person say that they were going to support him. One person. I mean, think about it. These are extremely small samples. So if you have a survey with 1,000 respondents and you cut that in half for Democratic voters, well you see almost all the support going towards Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders, but when it comes down to Lincoln Chafee and Jim Webb, when you look at how many individuals state that they intend on voting for those individuals, well, it's like one person, maybe two people sometimes. So dude, you're not gonna be president, give it up. The, the best thing that you can do is help the future Democratic nominee win. Uh, but I don't think he's gonna do that. I think he's really mad, but nobody cares, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I hate to say that because I, I feel like it's very rude. But nobody really cares about your campaign. You did nothing to galvanize or excite people. You're, you're just a moderate Republican. Maybe they'll like you over there.